Hey guys, welcome back to my Animal Adventures YouTube channel. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I have a lot of snakes. And you've probably been learning a lot if you watch my videos about the care and the husbandry, the breeding and the feeding, everything there is to know about snakes. And you're probably thinking, hmm, maybe I should get a snake. And there's actually ways you can pick up snakes for free, as a matter of fact, instead of actually coming up with the money to buy a snake. And in this video, I'm going to show you several ways to get a free snake. Okay, so before you actually get your very first snake, what you really want to do is you want to think about the enclosure. And you really want the enclosure all set up and ready to go before you get your first snake. And what I did actually when I started uh, is I had aquariums. And they were actually critter cages with a sliding screen top. And I actually put a uh, coconut husk substrate in the bottom. Had a heat mat on one side. You want a hot side and a cool side. And you actually want that heat mat on the thermostat. And then you also want to hide for the snake to hide in. And for me, I actually use these racks. I have a whole bunch of racks. And for me, it's easy. I just open up a tub and throw in another snake. And it's all set, all ready to go. And the, the heat is in the back. And I'm, I'm sure when you're first starting out, though, a rack system is not really practical. As a matter of fact, you really can't walk into a pet store and buy just one component of a rack system. At least I haven't seen it anywhere. So really, I think the, to start out, you really need some kind of enclosure, uh, kind of an aquarium style enclosure, or maybe some kind of a homemade enclosure. And with that said, I would say the first place you can get a pet snake for free is if you're a relative or a family member of someone who breeds snakes. And I'm actually surprised that none of my family members actually came up to me and said, hey, do you think you could give me a snake for Christmas? <laughs> and, and let me tell you, I have a lot of snakes here that I would gladly give to family members. I have some that are actually, I would say, that I don't really use for breeding. They're more sentimental. And let me show you one of those snakes. This is one of my very first snakes that I ever bought and, and I've never really bred them. It's actually a male pie that I got from the NARBC and I actually have a few other pies. I have a, a fire pied and, and some other pies I use for breeding. And this male, he's a really beautiful snake, but I just haven't used him at all in my breeding program. And <laughs> honestly, he's just kind of a pet for me. And it's, it's more sentimental value and kind of a, a, a pet snake than anything else. He's, he's a really neat snake, really beautiful. And, you know, if, if, if I could keep a snake like this in the family, <laughs> it'd be pretty cool. And, you know, if you get tired of the snake or you decide you really don't like it, I'd gladly take it back. And that's that's really, you know, if, you, if you're really close to a snake breeder, there's a lot, of, a lot of breeders that have a lot of snakes that are really just sentimental. And they don't really want to sell them. <laughs> they don't want to use them for breeding. It's just kind of a snake that's kind of hanging around the shops. I know some big breeders actually had like the very first, you know, pastels that came on the scene and they're they're they used to sell for a lot of money and now the prices are driven way down and and they just keep these snakes just for sentimental value instead of really using them as breeders so if you actually ask me for a snake for Christmas there are actually quite a few hatchlings that I have in my rack and keep in mind that the hatchlings always change through the season you know I got a show coming up in about three weeks that's the reptilian nation February 23rd and 24th 2019 and I'll definitely be there selling my snakes and whatever doesn't sell there I just kind of keep holding it back until the fall and then I'll just mix it in with my other snakes in the display but it, I have actually some really neat snakes if you would ever ask me for a snake I would highly recommend some of these base morphs this, some of these are just really awesome I have these coral glows that are really stunning take a look at this beauty these are one of my favorites. I almost wish that I could just keep all these snakes and not sell them, but you can only keep so many. I have so many snakes in here. Those coral glows are so beautiful. And let's see what else I have. It would make a good Christmas present. <laughs> I have this pastel bamboo. This guy is, these bamboos are awesome, especially when you mix in the pastel. And these are, this would be actually a really powerful breeder. This is a male. And if you mix a male with a normal, 50% of the babies would come out bamboo. So, you know, if, if someone's wanting a snake for Christmas and they're thinking of actually using that as a future breeder, something like the pastel bamboo would be awesome. And then I have some other genes like uh, this lesser. This lesser is 
These lessers are beautiful. Make a perfect Christmas gift. <laughs> and they're not really expensive either. They're, I would say the lessers are probably, you know, less than $100. Here's a Lemon Blast. Uh, it actually has two jeans, the Pinstripe and the Pastel. I actually have some pastels on top that are really awesome. These will definitely all be at the shows unless somebody, uh, unless a family member ask, <laughs> actually asks me for one for Christmas. But take a look at this pastel. This one is beautiful. I was almost tempted to hold this one back just because it's really a bright and unusual pastel. Just the, the lines down the sides. And it's, it's doing really well. This is actually a female pastel, 50% head pied. And let's see what else I have, which would make a really good uh, a pet. I had a, a pinstripe in here somewhere. I really love the pinstripes. Uh, let me see if I can find the pinstripe. <laughs> There's the bamboo. Uh, bamboo. Let's see. I lost my pinstripe. Oh, here it is. Here's the male pinstripe. Look at how beautiful these pinstripes are. They're, they're almost like a really bright gold. I think this is definitely one of my favorite morphs, just the straight pinstripe. They are really a beautiful snake. So, <laughs> any family members out there, hey, if you're looking for a snake for Christmas, just give me a shout and I will definitely have something for you. So another place you can get a free snake, totally free, and that would be Craigslist. And I actually got one of my very first ball pythons from Craigslist. It was a normal, and I've been holding her for a, a few years. I think this is the, the third year I've had her. And take a look at this. This is actually... Um, my free normal female. I'm actually pairing her up with my bamboo this year. I paired her up last year and she didn't go, but she was really eating a lot of food this year and she really got <laughs> really got big and she is definitely a big mature ball python. Look at how big she is. And I think she might have some eggs developing in her. I paired her with the bamboo now. It's been a couple months and and keep in mind if you breed the bamboo with a normal half the babies will come out bamboo. So before you go to the pet store or a reptile show or a breeder and you ask for a snake or you're thinking about buying one, I would definitely first look at your local Craigslist ads. And I actually have a website that I found that actually searches all the Craigslist all at once and it's pretty powerful and it's pretty amazing to actually see what's out there on Craigslist. I want to set this camera up on a tripod and I'll give you a quick tour of just a few simple searches and we can see what's available on Craigslist. Okay, so this is the website that I use to search all of Craigslist just to kind of see what's out there nationwide. And the address is www.searchcraigslist.org. And what you do is you basically just type in your search item down here. I typed in free ball python and it brings you over to this page. And it kind of gives you the free ball pythons kind of from across the country. You'd really want to go to Craigslist uh, and choose your local area if you're looking for something local. So just for an example, here's a free ball python, free ball python, in search of free ball python, uh, another free ball python, and sometimes you'll, you'll get the whole setup and everything. Uh, here's a five-year-old male ball python with the enclosure, three-year-old ball python, free to good home, and I actually clicked on that one over here, opened it up in this page. And here you can see it's a three-year-old ball python, free to good home. This is actually in Daytona Beach, Florida. So you see that there's there's a lot of animals. I think if if you're really looking for uh, a snake, not only ball pythons, but just a lot of you know king snakes and whatnot, you can actually go to Craigslist and kind of see what's out there before you actually purchase one uh, or if you go to a store or breeder and and a lot of times it's I, I find it's really hard to find free ball pythons or free reptiles but you know sometimes if you just keep looking and if you especially if you're not in a hurry and you take a month or two to kind of just search Craigslist usually you can find something and another option is I actually found this website today and it, I live here in Colorado and this is actually the Colorado Reptile Humane Society which I didn't even know existed until today which is pretty amazing and and they have uh, lizards and tortoises and everything that uh, uh, snakes and <laughs> all kinds of stuff, iguanas, amphibians and actually if you click on the snakes they have four available if you click on that page, you come over here and you see they have 
uh, one big normal ball python and and they have a couple other snakes they have a corn snake another corn snake ball python and a rosy boa and if you click on each one of those it's kind of interesting it brings up the description this happens to be the corn snake and they actually comes with a name this is Antonio <laughs> and it tells them how long how long there this one's about 60 inches long uh, it's an adult and the adoption fee is fifty five dollars which is I don't know it's uh, you're it's going to a good cause so it's I would say it's, it's pretty high for you know a corn snake but uh, I would say it, you know it actually supports the the nonprofit to actually you know house and and rescue these reptiles so I think it really is kind of more of a donation to the uh, nonprofit humane society here here's another one Jamaica uh, Janika, <laughs> Janika, <laughs> that's a kind of a neat name. And this one is 50 inches long, rehoming fee of $55. And then the ball python I thought was pretty interesting. <laughs> it's named Shepherd, which is uh, interesting. And <laughs> this is interesting. It says Shepherd was found stray in Longmont. <laughs> He's a gentle python with a healthy appetite. So I can't even imagine a stray ball python <laughs> crawling around in Longmont. It definitely wouldn't survive the winter. So they must uh, he must have just recently escaped someone. Or unless someone let it go. It's, it's almost unimaginable that you'd find a ball python in Colorado just kind of crawling around. Which is, <laughs> it just kind of blows me away. And here is the last one, Phoebe. And this is a rosy boa adult, about uh, three feet long. And a rehoming fee is 55. Phoebe is a healthy rosy boa and not nippy. Since arrival, she has eaten meals of frozen thawed prey. Are you her forever family? <laughs> That's pretty cute. Okay, so that wraps up my discussion of where you can get a snake for free. Hopefully this gave you some ideas of where you can go and ask around and look for people who want to rehome their animals. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.